hello welcome back to my channel uh, in this short video I'm gonna um, show you one of my um, t article on my website it is about adding class to a menu item when it's scrolling to this section so uh, we can add some classes um, to some a, a landing page or a single page um, when the item has an anchor link and curling to the some section so basically um, let's say <coughs> okay here so I have menu here on the top you can see and I have a section here so this section is um, when I scroll to the one of the section the corresponding the menu item should have a class name a new class name and then when it um, outside of the screen the class name will remove and then it will um, the class name will add it to the uh, new item so we can style like uh, maybe change the the font color so like if I uh, scroll down to the surface section the surface menu um, will have a a different color so we will try like that and um, the code is yeah you can see on my um, website <coughs> it's actually uh, just uh, made or f search by chat gpti I ai um, but i'm gonna uh, try that <laughs> try this uh, i mean so the first thing is um, uh, you need to have a menu of course um, and use a custom link and let's say I wanna have the about menu um, with anchor link about section so when I click about it will scroll, scroll down to the section the, the about section here so let's just copy this and um, make for other section um, the surface section and then the f FIQ section and then the blog section and contact section okay Um, let's see on the console first mm, let's target the let's see uh, the each menu of link uh, the home yeah it, it it will it should not have or it I want I want uh, make the anchor link for this uh, menu item but the section you see um, the target of link is uh, the element with the ID about section so I need to um, create the same ID for each um, section for each corresponding section so um, let's copy this about anchor link to the section about let's just uh, rename the ID so it's something like this and save it and then let's move to the our second section it is a service section mm, yeah just repeat the process let's move to the FIQ section okay mm, just rename the element ID so it match with the link the anchor link on the menu the blog yep and then the contact the last menu and the last section oh yeah i need to name this contact yep and let's 
uh, try to click one of the menu okay all right okay okay so uh, we, uh, we're gonna add a um, JavaScript code so you can just copy and put a code element code element or uh, uh, yeah just move it to the bottom let's say um, add class name to menu on scroll <laughs> oh so, uh, so so the name is so long but yeah whatever let's use that script J just copy the javascript code into element all right <coughs> the first thing is mm, we need to um, target the item which has a link attribute so if uh, we open the console see uh, the attribute is inside is on the a tag inside the uh, list which has a menu item class name so we can target the a the link tag the a tag or the link i'm uh, just copying the the parent class name um, and then uh yeah just target the the tag itself then uh, i cannot explain you um this is outside my knowledge uh, but you can read more search for uh, by yourself about the like um the query selector all the scroll into view the get attribute yeah you can <coughs> uh, apa? browse for uh, the, the the another tutorial which uh, has a deep explanation about this uh, script um, the first thing you should replace this I think this will same for all the WordPress and Bricks Intel inst installation but here we need to target the the section um this is this targeting the the section by uh, its class name so um we need to have uh, a similar uh, attribute for each section see we can actually create a brx e section mm, but if you see that like this the header is also has um, the section uh, has a s element which has a class name brx a section so uh, I think the best way is to create um, a class name a special class class name for for this um, um, section so like my section we're gonna create class name here and then we're gonna apply to all the section yeah just like this yep just like this and then save it and then we can change this, this class name to uh, our class name which created before and don't forget to execute the code and render without wrapper yeah you can this is optional but i like to to have um the the upper the script tag um without another div uh, without uh, inside the div yeah, like that so um, just click this and okay let's let's scroll uh, okay you see there is nothing error on the javascript console so let's see um, let's target the, the menu and you see here there is class name active on the about menu since uh, the screen is on the about section so if I scroll down to the service section to the second section 
um, this you see this um, tag this link ha uh, uh, has to uh, will have a new class name is it an active so when I scroll down to the second okay the active class name uh, from about section uh, from about menu is disappear or is removed and then um, the class name active will added instead to the service section like this so let's put this um, where is my menu okay here okay see on the right scroll down see uh, the the act there is a class uh, active class name on the service section and if I scroll down to the f FIQ section see okay the active active class name is removed from the service section and is uh, um, added to um, the FAQ section the FAQ menu here so um, I think if uh, let's like add some styling uh, I think this is better with if we have an actual change on the menu item when it's scrolling down uh, not not script but style let's um, target the menu item A and uh, which has an active class name let's change the color to red and save it and let's see mm, a um, let's see on the CSS service FAQ active um, ah here menu item A active um, but we should oh yeah we should use this instead um, let's see uh, this is just example yeah not the right one but you can like uh, use the condition uh, use the state the pseudo class active uh, you can play around with that I will only show you the result color red yeah hmm break snap menu or um, let's make it important yeah, this is the bad approach please don't follow me I, I just want to show you the result you can yeah you you need to to do um no i need to add active since this is the class name active you need to add uh, uh, active cla class name active so let's see scroll down okay on about i scroll down the surface yeah the ser uh, now the menu surface uh, has a, a red color and i scroll down to f faq scroll down to the blog scroll down to the contact yeah like this and let's click the surface okay faq uh, blog or contact yeah i think uh, this can like uh, this will make like uh, your your apa, the user um, experience will will have improved i think because there is like um um like apa ya? like the sign of like uh, which section they are now on the menu uh, it's, it's uh, if you have like a different uh name for menu and the section so this will be apa to to make uh, the menu chain 
uh, the item menu change when uh, it's scrolling down to the, the corresponding section i think uh, i think this uh, this is the alternative way to to, to create uh, something like the ux it's more improving improving the ux for the for the user itself for the visitor of your website um yep i think this is just this is just a uh, yeah, short videos um you can uh, try it you can uh, use the code by visiting my uh web page and as usual if you have any question or suggestion uh, please write on the comment box down below and i think happy coding yeah this this is not weekend so i will say just like yeah happy coding thank you see you on next video